A moving memorial this morning for legendary singer Patti Page. The 85 year old died New Year's Day. Today, family, friends, and fans said their final goodbyes to one of our country's greatest singers. 10 years reporter Joe Little has the moving tribute and how Page's final wish was honored. How much is that dog? With songs like The Doggy in the Window, Patti Page became one of the first female superstars in U.S. history. In Solana Beach Wednesday, the people who remember her career and the people who loved her gathered to say goodbye, hugging outside the Solana Beach Presbyterian Church. The memorial service was open to the public, not to our cameras. Page's manager told 10 News the singer wanted a simple memorial with little fanfare, but fans were here. Her music was just there all my life. Gloria DeRuin never met Page, but felt like she knew the singer through her music. So you just came as a fan. I came as a total fan. The 85 year old Paige moved to San Diego in the 70s and later to Encinitas. She still sang well into her 80s, remaining involved in a nonprofit social service agency. She died from undisclosed reasons, but she was suffering from heart and lung disease. White glove pallbearers escorted Paige's casket into the church, where about 300 people gathered to honor her life. They played her songs and a video about her career. Lynn Salzberg saw Paige perform a few years ago and wanted to say goodbye. It was a thoughtful, somber celebration of her life and her music. The things people said about her just made her sound like a wonderful person all through her life. A life remembered, never to be forgotten. In Solana Beach, Patty Page will be remembered long, forever. Joe Little, 10 News. Wow. And Paige will posthumously receive a Lifetime Achievement Award next month at the Grammys. The singer was buried this afternoon at El Camino Memorial Park in San Diego.